so why are we staring at my block? Well, for one, we got our nice new CRV bracket from Honda in. Um, for the TSS block, don't use the TSX bolt. It actually, the TSX, I'm guessing the mount comes out a little further. So I had to cut threads into the block to fully seat that bolt. But that's not the point of this video. Uh, so last night I tried to, well, I put my gasket sealer onto my water pump housing. Yeah. Torques it down. Got this bolt torqued down, this nut torqued down, that torque nut tucked down. Then I started torquing this one. And then it got loose. And loose. And they wouldn't torque. So what did I discover? Someone in the past focus has completely destroyed the threads in here. But don't, don't worry. I got some Healy coils. The bolt itself is an M10 by 1.25, so yeah. So we're gonna fix the block now. So uh, yeah, uh, first step is to, as it says it uses, it says use a uh, 13 32nd bit. We have a 13 second bit. The tap itself also says focus use drill 13 30 seconds so plan of course of action is we're gonna drill this out as straight as can be because I can't actually turn this engine on its side then we're going to tap it out with this and then insert our heli coil because I do not have any temp certs but uh, helicoils are at least decent, they kind of spread the load evenly, and for something you're not repeatedly taking on and off, helicoils are a little bit better, time search will hold up stronger. But this is what I got, this is what I'm going to use, so let's get to it. Okay, and I've put some tape on here, which, oh, where'd the coil go? Okay, here's our coil. Whoa. Side. You can see I've taped it off just as a depth gauge to uh, make sure I don't go too deep. It's a blind hole. So, whoo! First time ever doing this. Let's do it.
little bit scary. So now, tap. We're gonna put a little bit of oil onto the skirts. When I said little, I meant a lot. We don't need it for aluminum, but. All right, here the coil is in, and uh, now we got to punch it out. Okay, now that that's done. <laughs> oh my gosh, this works. Actually, uh, I need to get my bolts out. I have them sitting in chem dip right now. They were a little dirty, so we'll just pull them out and I'll be back. We're back. So, we got our two bolts. Look at them, they're, like, they're so clean. All right. So, on the water pump housing, Honda calls it a water passage. For the RTV, you only want to do it along this outer edge and then it comes in around the sew ring and then back out that the uh, Honda does not say to put it here or here just along this so I'm gonna go do that right now 
All right, so we're gonna. Ooh, that's a lot. A lot of TV coming up. So I'm just gonna start with what I got. I'm just gonna do a small, very small bead. It's really not much to do here. Following the outside. The job of the RTV is just to fill up any small irregularities. So, don't need a whole lot. Whoop. Close to touching it. We're going to take our finger and just make a smooth line. Let's get our back. Remember, any excess that's squeezed out is going to go end up in your water pump. So, the nicer you have it, the better. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some excess and I'm going to wipe it around the bolt holes. And it's there. There we go. Let's get it off the car. So that's where I put my nuts. I lost my nuts. Whoa, whoa. Ah, don't lose your nuts. So we're gonna take our nice new passage. Make sure you have it the right way, it only goes on one way. One bolt is longer than the other, so that's gonna be our guy. Fourteen millimeters. Two nuts. Unfortunately, I have the torque spec on my phone. That's currently recording. Which I am now gonna double check, so uh, let me get the torque spec. Be right back. 33 foot pounds. I hope this fucking works. Okay. It's on. So, uh, I will be right over there. I gotta go check part. But, or full, or full, uh, all four bolts are torqued to spec. I did my first helicoil. This engine is really alert. Experience, but 
Ta-da! There she is. Um, we've already got our housing on. I'm probably going to reuse the water pump. I'm not sure yet, but we'll figure it out. But I'm going to go check something out. Uh, thanks for being on this adventure with me. And uh, I guess next up, we will be um, doing our valve lash and uh, sealing this baby up. And then we can really move on to uh, getting our coolant on coolant system, headers, uh, probably on the end. Oh, I need to get a starter on here too, which needs five or something. Lates. Actually, I lied. Okay, so remember how I said you don't need that much uh, RTV? You can see where it's squeezing out. You can, still, you can see it right there as well. But if I had left, all that RTV on there, there would be a lot of squeeze out. And remember, you can always think of what you can see on the outside is what's on the inside. Now this is the part where we have our O-ring, so there will be no squeeze out because we came in and went whoop, and then comes back here, goes down around, and to a part that we can't see. But yeah, just like our timing cover. We want to see a little bit of squeeze out, not too much. Uh, RTV is very much a bigger the, bigger the glob, better the job is not true because any of this that squeezes out on the outside is squeezing out on the inside. So you want a little, a little squeeze like a PB and J. All right. Um, yeah. So, whew. That's that. I um, guess I'm just gonna. I can't put this on yet because it interferes with this. Like I, I can't, couldn't rotate it. Not like I need to rotate it, but you know, worst case, I'd rather not break anything on it right now until I can get the flywheel on. Uh, I'm gonna have to put it in an engine hoist, get the flywheel on, and then it doesn't really have to be. On a stand anymore. It can go home and get on the car. Yeah. All this time. Hmm. And here's a really interesting thing. Is so K24A2 TSX, right? Now the motor is an RBB. It's stamped K24A2, right? RBB is the TSX K24A2. If you go to the block, the block has a casting of RAA. Hmm. I wonder if at the factory they cast an RAA, they had an extra one, but they hadn't stamped it yet, so they repurposed it for the TSX and put RBB pistons, crank, blah 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 in. But I just noticed that. That's that's a little interesting. Um yeah, I'm a Go enjoy the rest of my lunch. I'm gonna sit down. She's uh finally looking like an engine. Fuck this oil filter. It's an A2. It's only for the break-in. It's made by Fram. Alright. Yeah. Bye.